Young. We're out here. Greensboro, North Carolina. And you're living homeless. Tell me about that. Uh, not great. Hope. Soon, one day, get out of the wood. Okay. How long have you been here? Over three months. Three months. Oh my goodness. Well, you have a nice camp. You have a really nice uh, take in, and you have your nice little walkway here, and your like a patio area all made up and nice and clean and kept up. So, um, how do you survive? Michelle and uh, her friends, all the night, night watcher, they are groups coming around support us hot meals and uh, hygiene things and little here and there toilet trees and stuff like that and also I finally got a uh, I called the government first I mean credit card but it was just first stamp I get that but uh, and every now and then I walk Long way to get hot meal right once in a while. And then we are in the homeless people to group together, look up for each other. How did you end up here? Uh, I was living in North Carolina, uh, Henderson, Henderson, North Carolina. And they run the flea market. And I retired early age. I thought I was going to be settled down rest of the older age or however how long I ever live. But things uh, change. The human greediness uh, it could be harm to others. And they set the fire in my house by master bedroom window. And unfortunately, I'm real lucky. Lucky. Oh, God saved me. I went the other way. So I'm, I'm survivor, but insurance money that they collect supposed to be was supposed to be a uh, split half, but person was greedy, don't want to give, so he gave. We are discussing about the agreement, so I found and say, give me a ten thousand, whatever you collect, that's yours. So I told them, 5000 I like to spend homeless people where I've been go visit. You know, every dollar I get, I used to go spend it for them, for what they need. And 5000 I would like to get on my feet, start all over somewhere. But it didn't that. come through. So your house burned? Yes. And you're supposed to get some insurance money and it never came through? No. So you ended so up homeless? Yes, sir. What was your first day's like? First day, I was terrified. I come here a little, a little bag. It was e uh, early e evening. I never been a wood, entire life, and I was kind of frightened, afraid of any wild animals or. People never met. I don't know how they gonna respond or accept me. It's a one of them. So I stayed out for a couple of weeks, oh, just almost about all night, and I get nap from during the day. Try as much as I can. Then most of the nighttime I stay up because of, I don't know. Right, danger, safer. So. And at the time, as a uh, uh, matter of fact, one other woman got beat up and uh, raped. Out here? Yes. Uh, so uh, I wasn't sure I might safe, safe be here. But after a while, uh, I made up my mind. I said, God, give me your strength. Uh, I'm here. So I started more close to talking to God, 
nine days. Then they give me a little bit strong. What's your future like? I like to uh, get out of the wood and get a job and continue. I like to work on the homeless people as much as I can. Yeah, I, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Number one, I like the people be uh, not forget about God. Number two, anybody in the homeless, especially or anywhere in the street in the wood, get out. Then help yourself get on. Thank you. We all have everything in the, uh, one time in life and the go and the past. That's a yesterday, that's a history. I hope everybody go for the future is a what's tomorrow for. There's a bride. Well thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome.